Cognitive evaluation theory and motivation. Have you ever wondered what motivates us to do the things we do? Can we control or predict how certain actions will affect one's motivation? If you're looking for a secret mind controlling formula of motivation, cognitive evaluation theory won't be of much help. However, we can use it to predict the way an external event will affect a person's intrinsic motivation to continue with a task. So what is cognitive evaluation theory? Cognitive evaluation theory, or CET, is a sub-theory of Desi and Ryan's self-determination theory. It is focused on the way extrinsic events affect intrinsic motivation. CET is based on three propositions. External events that offer choices and promote autonomy will increase intrinsic motivation. External events that increase competence, such as offering constructive feedback and praise, increase intrinsic motivation or offering competence thwarting negative criticisms will decrease it. And finally, is an event mostly controlling or mostly informational? This will determine the level of intrinsic motivation. The term intrinsic keeps coming up. So what does it mean and how is it related to CET? Why do you play sport on the weekends? Are you playing to win or playing because you love the game? If you play to win, you are extrinsically motivated. Extrinsic motivation is seen as the least autonomous form of motivation because it is controlled by other people, social pressures, or any external event in general. Alternatively, if you are playing because you love the sport, you are intrinsically motivated. Intrinsic motivation is enhanced by participating in something because you have an interest in it or gain enjoyment from it. Intrinsic motivation allows an individual to remain in control, improving their levels of autonomy and increasing their competence by enhancing their skill levels. In summary, extrinsic motivators provide a reward such as money, a trophy or recognition, and intrinsic motivators provide enjoyment or are interesting. The task itself is the reward. There were a couple of terms there that need further explanation. Autonomy and competence. These are two of three basic human needs that make up a large part of CET. Competence is the need for improvement and mastery. Essentially, we have a basic need to be good at the things we are interested in. Autonomy is the need to have ownership and control over one's decisions and actions. This can be achieved when our beliefs and values guide our decisions as opposed to making decisions based on peer pressure or others' opinions. In conclusion, if you were trying to control someone's motivation, you will end up having the opposite effect. In order to improve intrinsic motivation, you need to support a person's need for competence and autonomy while encouraging their personal development. Being commanding or controlling will decrease enjoyment and in turn reduce their intrinsic motivation. Try providing positive feedback and praise and avoiding controlling and negative language.